Hello people of the internet, my name is Sushi5 and welcome to Game Tip Tycoon. Now this game came out three years ago and I got it not too long ago, like six months ago. <laughs> and I sort of played a couple of it. So, we got this game. It's a game where you make games. A game within a game. You can make a game within this game within a game. It's pretty cool. I, ha I do know some secrets and stuff and a lot of other things. So we're gonna name my company Rich Rich, Rich Gaming, <laughs> and my name's Zick. I am a male. Uh, I don't really like any of these hairstyles. Like this one matches me the most, but that's my that's not my skin color. Uh, I'll just be this one. Uh, where? Uh, well, I might just be the regular dude. No, you know, I'll just wear a red t-shirt because I want to be different. I want to make the game on my computer. All right. Since you played this game before, you could choose all the previous game hints in the new game. Would you like to pour all previous game hints to this game? Uh. No. Because I want this to be a new uh, supporter. Support a young startup by the game. I got an achievement that I already have gotten before. So. It's a develop a new game. I want to just I can, I know what the tutorial is, but I'll read anyways. Before development, you can begin to have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Okay, there I I read it. So we're gonna make it. Yeah, these are they start off differently. I think I had like zombies. It's going to be a dungeon game. RPG. Pick platform. Okay, pick. So, I know the PC does, doesn't do very good in the beginning. But then it's like the number one thing. So, we'll do this G64. And the game name will be... The... Um, the Older Scrolls. Uh... The Older Scrolls, seven, yeah, let's do, that's not, no, seven, because that's how I think, the Older Scrolls, seven, uh, Rim Sky, there we go, R yeah, <laughs> I don't know why, okay, it's gonna be 2 2D graphics, so like, these cost more money, gotta choose which one, alright, I'm gonna start development, and now I sit here, and wait, I didn't even do anything, I already have a bug. Alright, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide which areas of the game you want to focus on. Pick the right focus for your game greatly increases your points you generate. Think about what are areas are more... more that. Think about what areas are important for your game and dece decrease the focus on your areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Alright, so I know it's an RPG, so I was gonna have high story quests, a little bit gameplay, and not much, not so much engine, I think. I, s I haven't played this game in six months, so I actually don't remember anything. While developing your game, you will generate points. Yeah, yeah, I will generate points. Yeah, the more research I get, I can research stuff. This probably isn't that fun to watch because I've already played it before. Yay. This is why I didn't want to record this game. I was going to record it when I got it, but then I said, nah. Alright. AI, yep. Um, dialogues, yep. Level design, eh. I, I, I'm probably totally wrong at this. And everyone's going to yell at me, that's not how you make a game. Uh, during development, you can also select additional features for your game, right? Now, yeah, 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 basic sounds. Yeah, you can research things. Uh... Yeah, those research things add stuff to here. But first, you have to choose an engine, but whatever. Just some world design would be important. Graphics, yeah. Sound, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just gonna do that. There we go. The older scrolls. That's seven, right? Or am I just not very good with Roman numerals? All right. The development of your first game is not complete. If you click the finish button, oh yeah, if you have like no bugs, uh, the ratings of your games get better. 
So you have to wait a little bit for all your bugs to go away. And I gained a new bug! Wonderful, okay there. I'm gonna finish it before I can do anything else. Also, this, is pre this sound is pretty much ear-piercing when something levels up. But luckily, I turned on the volume. Okay, the frames dropped for a second. I don't understand why. Create a game with good topics, that's good. I, I already, didn't I already get that achievement? Because if I didn't, it wouldn't have, sh it would showed up here. Your game is now complete and will be handed off publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. So I can generate a game report eventually. Yep, there it is. I'm supposed to be able to do this after, but you can click it like the second before the game review comes. Please be ha! Nope, got a six. That's fine. Yeah, seven. Wait, is it gonna just stay at six and seven? That's usually how it is. It's like, oh no, I actually got a five on that one. You know what, informed gamer, you're pretty good. On my book, way better than, you know, Game Hero in all games. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I already did that by accident. By accident, I mean not by accident. Rich <laughs> I forgot that's what it's called because in my other account I called it Sketch Free Games because of reasons. Alright. Rich Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released the first game, The Older Scrolls 7 Rim Sky. The game received favorable, f favorable reviews. With such a good start, Rich Gaming are sure to gain fans quickly. I have zero fans. Yet I'm, s I'm selling. Oh no, I have 33. Wow, that, that was fast. It already finished selling. Huh. No, oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Yeah, I was so successful. I have 33 fans. Yep. Oh, yeah, it also tells you what you get. Like, Dungeon and RPG is a great combination. Gameplay. Did I? Oh, I put gameplay low, didn't I? I totally did, didn't I? Gameplay seems to be quite important for this time of game. Oh, I had graphics. Was it second, or did I put it, like, all the way to the bottom? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know, it teaches you things. So we're gonna develop a new game while that game's being made. It's going to be a vampire adventure. Yeah. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, I like to highlight that. Okay, we're gonna put it's called The Thirst for Blood. Thirst for Blood. Is that actually a game? I don't know. Probably is to be honest. There. It's going to be 2D graphics. Yep. There's also a little cool easter egg. If you name the game Pong, the Pong poster will play. Alright, so it's adventure. So, yeah. I think it's sort of the same. I think. I, I seriously don't remember anything. Yep, 10k units sold. This is pretty good for my first game. Already two bugs, and I barely have any design and technology. I feel accomplished. Okay. Artificial, uh, AI, it's an adventure game, so level design would probably be good. Dialogue's not so much. Yeah. Like, like that, I think. I'm totally wrong about this, aren't I? Watch me get the worst reviews. Can I just get the military topic? Those always give me good reviews. Oh, yeah, I didn't put graphics all the way up. All the way up. Wall design sound. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Let's just see how this turns out. Wow. I mean, I had 12 and 12 for the last one. That was really bad. Like, really bad. I swear if I... I thought for a second I was going to click finish and then a bug appeared. Yeah. Okay. So, new topic. New combo. You can also level up, which I think it increases something. The first reviews for our newly released game, Thirst for Lud, came in. They're not good, are they? Those are not high numbers. Come on, higher, higher, higher. Uh, nope. Fives. It's around fives and fours. I. Why do. Why? Well, okay. It's okay, of course. Can't be. It can't be good. Can't, can't be good. No, can't. Nope. Yeah, it's off the market. Time to see how Thirst for Blood did. Uh, generate game report. Now let's see if what I did was a bad. Probably. That's probably why I got 5 and 4. 
All right. Well, after we see the results of Thirst for Blood, I'm gonna recent mar. Uh, oh, I'm gonna leave the episode here. Recent market studio suggests that Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the low price, lower price, great availability, availability, and the flexible. Flex. Oh my God! How much English? Uh, the flexible, flexible hardware configuration over the other home computers. I really wanted to say flexibility for some reason. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware ma- manufacturers. Yeah, yeah, you know, until it goes bankrupt. <laughs> Vampire and Adventure is an okay combination. Sounds to did not be very important for the. Yeah, okay, I'll put sound low, so I feel accomplished. Actually, I might leave the video here, so um, I don't know what I clicked. I clicked something bad. Alright, so anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment down below what you want me to play next or see more of this. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.